Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today we're going to take a look at the topic, what puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? Originally I wanted to look at what puzzle piece are you missing, but then I thought, no, let's be more positive here. Let's say what puzzle piece is yet to fall into place. It's like what's that next thing that's going to click in for you or maybe you're going to get an aha moment. Maybe we're looking for an aha moment here. Maybe that's what we're doing. So group number one, if you feel drawn to group number one or this crystal dragonfly, then you can click on that. Or you can choose group number two and this. Now I'm not sure what this stone is exactly. I don't think it's Labradorite. It's got a little bit of shimmer in there. It's probably some form of grey charcoal agate. But if you guys have ideas in the comments you can let us know it's quite an interesting sort of asymmetrical heart shape quite like it or if you like group number three or this blue stone this is I think it's amazonite if I'm correct it isn't turquoise so I'm sure it's not turquoise it's I think it's some kind of Amazonite. All right, well, I'll see you in your reading. Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one or this very pretty dragonfly, then you're in the right place. Oh, there's a bit of shine there. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, wow. Oh. <laughs> All right, then you're in the right place. So what are we looking at? What puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? Or oh, this could be like a what, what's clicking into place in your mind? What aha moment do you need right now? It's like there's something that's going to click in here. All right, we'll take that one. Okay, we'll take one of these. Just make sure it's, yeah. Hope you're having a good week wherever you are, group number one. Okay. Whoops. I'm just knocking everything. Oh, and it's gone out of focus. There we go. It's much better. We'll take one of these. We'll also get a quote from the jar. In the jar today, everything is anonymous. Everyone is anonymous in there. It's like... Yeah, I just happened to find this quote video and it just had all these cool one-liners in there, but no authors. So, oh, all right, let's take it. I've seen it. Let's take it. It's a good card as well. Magician. There we go. Might as well start with that. So the power is in your hands. What puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? This could well be... A reminder group number one you've also got the dragonfly here and I always tend to think the dragonfly is a symbol of the other side you know messages from the other side messages even from like an ancestor or somebody like that the magician okay good beginning good card to start on Let's see what's in here Oh, nice. Healer of the ages. Number six there. Venus shows up. Venus, number six. Healer of the ages. Good. Could be to do with your heart space. Five of cups, indeed. Yeah, it is to do with your heart space. Venus, love, number six. Five, five of cups. You're in the five energy. Okay, we'll take a look. And Ajna, yeah, beautiful. With eyes closed, 
The truth is revealed. Yes. That's really lovely. And you've got the magician here. Well, group number one. It seems like it's something to do with your heart space. What puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? And I'm getting in my head that I think you're yet to truly learn how to love yourself. Because we've got the five of cups here. So there is some heartache here or heartbreak even, heartache, heartbreak. She's standing in all this water and all these flowers are just surrounding her. Healer of the ages. It's really interesting that these two are standing in a similar kind of pose almost. I mean, she's got her hand up right there, but they're both front on towards the camera if it's like a photo, but it, like they're front on. And there's something about this. There's something about maybe... Maybe you're feeling exposed. What puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? You might be feeling exposed. You might be feeling that you tried everything or that you did everything. And yet the result is that you're... Getting you're not fulfilled, you're not satisfied, heartbreak. When is it going to be my turn? When are things going to happen for me? But I tried everything. I did everything. I gave everything. I gave my whole heart. I gave, you know, and it's still, it's still not good enough. See, the back is turned here. What puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? And it's like, and maybe you feel like you can't give anymore because you've given everything. You tried everything. I did everything. I tried everything. I tried my best. And yet, look, I'm in this situation of heartbreak again. With eyes closed, the truth is revealed. And really, your answer is in this card here. This is saying that it's not about what's out there. It's about what's within. With eyes closed, the truth is revealed. It's kind of like you want something from the outside world. What puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? Maybe you feel like the puzzle piece is that perfect partner or it is fulfillment from a career or a job or it's like you think it's something outside of you. You've tried and tried and tried. The result is the same. And it's like the divine is asking you to go within, close your eyes and that peace and stillness that you feel when your mind is calm and not thinking any thoughts okay when your mind is not thinking any thoughts that peace is your salvation that peace is true love that peace is it the ego tries to make it seem like there's something wrong when you're peaceful the ego tries to make it like there's nothing happening that means everything's wrong in my life. No, that means everything's right. Okay, when you have that true beautiful peace, everything is right. That is that is true love. It's that simple. But you see, the ego doesn't want you to think that. The ego doesn't want you to think that life is simple or easy or that love is there when you close your eyes. Love is always there when you close your eyes and you're peaceful and your mind is still. That's the key part. If your mind is busy, then you're going to have this five of cups thing going on here. Um, 
Unless, of course, you're in your magician energy and you are creating positive, beautiful things. Maybe you're helping someone else. You're, you're being the healer that you were born to be. When you're in service, when you're helping someone else. That's why they always say that like a remedy for depression and things like that is to start helping other people. It's true because that gets you out of your own uh, ego and head and mind, which, you know, ego is pretty good at trapping us, confusing us, making us feel miserable, all of that. Ego does all of that. Or it will rope in other people who will do that for us or to us. And we think it's them, but it's not. It's actually our own mind just roping in, you know, somebody or some situation or some difficulty or whatever it is. So, yeah, all you have to do is close your eyes, still your mind, even if just for a minute. Can you manage a minute, you know? Where your mind is totally, there's no movement. And it's that stillness and peace that is love and that is beautiful. And that, that's why ego works so hard to distract us. You know, ego works really, really hard to distract us, to keep us busy and entertainment. I was listening to Lester the other day, all forms of entertainment, he says, they are just, um, what does he say about entertainment? He, he says entertainment is an escape from pain actually. But he's like, if you are a peaceful and calm person, you will enjoy entertainment even more. So the good things in life are enhanced when you're peaceful and when you're calm. You know, being calm is, is strong. It's true strength. There's a quote in this jar that's something like that. Let's see if that comes out. It'd be quite cool if it did. Okay, well, let's take two <laughs> in the hope that that one comes out. It might not. But I remember writing that one on the on the weekend and I was like oh that's a good quote being calm is strong or something like that oh this is a good quote for you let's see when writing the story of your life don't let anyone else hold the pen definitely yeah you hold the pen you write what you want you create the thing that you want you know absolutely and don't worry if it's heartbreak and if you know there's somebody that you can't be with them or whatever don't worry about that. There's so many people on the planet and you don't know. The best is yet to come. You don't know what's, what's coming for you. Sometimes people get hung up on one person and, yeah, it's not such a good idea. Oh, this is interesting. Wow. Okay, let's see. It says here, don't overshare. Privacy is power. Anonymous. Yeah, that's true. Let's get one more. <laughs> I'm hoping that calm one will come out. I don't know. See, because now I want that particular one. It won't come. Oh, this has come twice, kind of. Interesting. This, when you build in silence, people don't know what to attack. Anonymous. It's interesting. Something's really asking you. Close your eyes. Go within. And like, don't share. Don't overshare or don't overexpose yourself. These people are so exposed here. But there's a strength in that, you know. There's a real strength in that. And I think that's what Jordan Peterson teaches about the lobster thing or something that like you stand up tall and you, you know, I can't remember some lobster thing. I can't remember what that is. But yeah, I mean, it's a balance, isn't it? Because sometimes you want to be doing this. Sometimes you do want to be protecting yourself as well uh, when you build in silence people don't know what to attack yeah maybe look maybe you have been attacked maybe that's what this heart heartbreak situation is um, mm. but you are going to be strong again and you're going to be able to turn around and be vulnerable again and show your full self and reveal your full self and be your full self in this world. That time is coming, all right? It just might be that for, for a short time, you know, uh, you need to... feels like, yeah, you need to go within. That's kind of what I'm getting here. 
All right, group number one. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. And we are now going to welcome group number two. So I'm going to put these away. <laughs> oh, hang on. I'm just going to, there we go. Make sure I get these the right way around. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to pop them on top. I will definitely shuffle. Oh. And the magician, let's get that right way. There we go. All right. So if you are group number two, or you pick this beautiful heart-shaped object, which is kind of heart-shaped, it is, I'm just remembering something. I just sent a file, whereas I should have checked something. Doesn't matter. I'll check it after this. <laughs> Sorry, group number two. I just, my mind went somewhere else. Um, you might have chosen this beautiful stone and it's an asymmetrical kind of a heart shape. Isn't that interesting? So we're going to take a look and see what puzzle piece is yet to fall into place for you. Or is there like an aha moment or, you know, basically we're looking for a message here, something that you need to hear for now. So let's see. And remember, guys, just take the empowering messages and leave the rest behind because not everything always applies. Sometimes, you know, when I watch readings, I pop into one. And yeah, if it's not me, I just get out of there pretty quick. But it's amazing how many are me. You know, when I listen to them, I'm like, oh, this is good. <laughs> and I just like the story or whatever they've got coming. All right, let's see. So we're going to draw one of these. Oh, I'm also going to focus it. There we go. I've got it on manual setting today. See how it edits. Should be all right. Okay, and one of these. Get that the right way up. So what puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? Ooh, storm warning. Wow. Gosh, that is an interesting, wow. Okay. I know it's pretty cold here in England. A few storms come and, you know, it's pretty cold. Oh, wow, the start, look at that. Oh, let's zoom in there. Oh, I love this picture. Gosh, that's so beautiful. It's kind of like a Taj Mahal, but in the sky, in a flower. Wow. In a dream, you know. Wings. Wow. Okay. Tiger. On the other side of fear is courage. Yes. Ooh. You got to move through some fears here. Oh, wow. Five of Swords. Whoa. Okay. What's been going on here? Group two. This is full on stuff. What puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? Well, I would say it is your courage. Is the puzzle piece that is yet to fall into place. And I think you are courageous. But it's like there's something about in this situation where you're being tested. I think you're in a situation where you are being tested because we've got the five of swords here. It's like there's an argument, there's injustice. Five is uncomfortable. I know. I Yeah, five is... I don't like being in five. <laughs> it's not fun. But that's not 5D. 5D is different, see? And I'm trying to reconcile these things in my head because I like 5D energy, but... The number five, when you're just stuck in that five holding pattern, I don't particularly like that. It's interesting, we've got a number one here, we've got storm warning, but you're on the brink of a new beginning. We've got your heart here as well, or a heart, or feelings here. It's interesting that this is in grey and black as well. We've got this storm warning here. We've got healing here for you. Okay, so we've definitely, 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 definitely got healing it's already manifested. It's right here. But it's like 
the reason it's here is because you are going through something. You're definitely going through something. Gosh, and I don't know if you can hear that. There's like a... Oh, what is that? It's a helicopter. And I'm feeling like the vibrations of it on the floor. I do hope that comes up in the recording. Ooh. What is this? Okay, let's... I want to dig around a little bit. Let's get a couple more cards. Oh, that helicopter is huge. Gosh, I am so tempted to open the blinds and take a look. But it doesn't matter. It's just, I can hear it. Let's take a couple. Any further guidance? Okay. Wow, yeah, Nine of Swords. Okay, yep. Oh, man. Hey, Six of Wands. Yeah, all right. It, there's just, you have to go through this time. And this is not easy. This is tough. This is testing you. It's testing all of your strength. But remember, God never gives you anything that's going to break you. He'll, he'll give you stuff that's very hard and it will feel like too much to bear. And if you have any tears to shed, then shed them. Let, you know, let that emotion out because when you do that, some of what you release is gone forever. It truly, truly is. So you're doing amazing work. You could be doing this on behalf of ancestors. These could be old fights by ancestors that you've come to relive. You know, but it's like as you become more aware it's your awareness that's going to bring this victory through, okay? And as you become more aware and you start to see that this is illusion, firstly, seeing that this could be an ancestral problem that you're, or an ancestral pattern that you're dealing with and that you're on the battlefield now and you're feeling it and you're re living it and you're crying the tears and you're going through it. But just you seeing that, hey, this might not be my stuff or this could be ancestral or, you know, and just you becoming aware, it'll start to dissolve it. And it's that dissolving that is the healing, that is the victory, right? The healing is here. You've got it. You're going to heal this. You are. You're definitely, definitely, definitely going to heal this. It's unpleasant. It's difficult. You have to go through something tough here. But it's like, when you see, there's something about you seeing that this is an illusion and it's that light that clears all of these clouds and that clears all of this difficulty and that brings about the healing. There's something about you seeing it as illusion. And when you see it as an illusion and when you recognize, and this is what you have to recognize, you have to recognize that you are inside, deep within, you are totally perfect and you can't be blemished by this. You can't be blemished, you can't be scratched, you can't be hurt, you can't be tortured, you can't be broken, you can't be the real you that's you. You're perfect and invincible, right? That's what light is. The camera's going to cut out, by the way, I can see it's gone red. I'll just let it cut out and then start a new thing. Yeah, so what you've got to recognize is that you are at your core. And do you know what? And the other people in this situation, at their core, they're perfect too. It's just that they don't know it, which is why they act the way they do. But the difference is that you know it because you're listening to this, right? You're hearing these words, which believe me, I didn't know I was going to be saying these words today. <laughs> but like you're drawing the words through, right? So... So what I'm saying here, though, is that you have the awareness. You've got the power. You're this tiger, you know. And because you'll get to peace quickly, these other people involved in this thing, they may not, okay, they may not get to peace. They may not know what you know. And you might desperately want to tell them what you know. You might want to help them. But... 
you can't it's that, that I think that's one of the hardest things about being on earth you can't help it's so hard you can't help a person who doesn't want help isn't that amazing they have to want help only then can you give them a bit of your wisdom you know um, it, it's sad it's sad sometimes that's the sadness that we're moving through Sometimes you can see, you can probably see, you can probably see exactly how to help this person, these people, whatever this thing is. That's probably what's breaking your heart as well. If you are experiencing, I don't want to say that your heart is being broken or anything. I want to say like there's a storm in your heart or something is what I'm seeing. We've got all this grey here. It looks like a big cloud, cloud in a heart, you know, and we've got this storm card here. So yeah, I totally understand. But you let the light of your own being of your soul of the sun in your chart everybody's got a sun placement in their chart right that's the place of infinity for everybody everybody's got that bright light that is perfect that can't be broken that can't be touched that can't be tainted that can't be scratched that can't be screwed up that can't be you know it's like there's a part of every single person that is really perfect and that can't be no matter what, it can't be changed or messed with or none of that. See, when you know that deeply, consciously, when you deeply consciously know that, you allow your own sunlight to clear all the clouds. And I know, I know you want to help these people do it. I know it's hard, but you can't. You've got to leave them. The funny thing is when you leave them, and you don't want to help them, weirdly, that's better, you know, yeah, they come around to you kind of thing, and that's all you can ever hope for, all you can, Louise Hay talks about this, she says that like, all you can ever hope for is that they look at you and say, well, how do you do it, how, how are you okay, then you can help them, if they don't ask that, you can't help them, so difficult. Oh wow, this is a good quote. Do it alone, do it broke, do it tired, do it scared, just do it. Anonymous, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, look, sometimes we feel really tired and, um, and do it broke, yeah. Oh, the camera battery's flashing now. Jeez, everything's crumbling here. Talk about storm warning. Do you know, I'm just, I'm actually going to just, I'm going to stop the recording and, We'll have a look at your next quote in a moment. Hey there, group two. So let's take a look. Yeah, do it broke, do it tired. Yeah, see, this is the thing. Like, I understand this situation, five of swords and nine of swords. It's not great. And, and you personally might be feeling run down and tired and just not in a great way. I totally understand that. But know that deep, deep, deep down inside, there's a part of you that is, you know, that, that reincarnates, right? It drops this body, it takes another one. It's perfect. It can't be, it's eternal. It can't be blemished, it can't be broken, it can't be, it's not tired, it's not even scared. It's, <laughs> there's a part of you that's so courageous that it's unbelievable. All right, let's take a look here. That's the part of you that chose to come to, you know, what is sometimes, right, an awful place called Earth, right? This place is hard. Earth is hard. I think it's hard. I find it very difficult. Not all the time, but yeah, sometimes, gosh. Oh, I love this. If you're brave enough to say goodbye, life will reward you with a new hello. Yeah, I mean, look at that. This is even telling you that just, if you got to cut ties with this and move forward, do it. Don't hesitate. Don't waste a single second. My goodness. Don't waste any time. That time is so precious. If you got to, you know, yeah, cut from something or something's not good, something's not right, you can move on from that for sure. But yeah, group number two, what puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? I think it's something to do with your courage uh, is yet to fall fully in place. You are courageous. You've always been courageous. There will be many instances where you'll be able to look back and go, hey, wow, I was courageous. 
but it's like that is growing now and yeah once your courage goes up a bit more the next thing will be shown to you that new hello is, is coming in all right group number two well thank you so much for stopping by and we're going to welcome group number three and i'm going to keep it rolling but you know it's funny i did think before starting this um this one today i did charge the camera batteries you know but um what did i not do well i should have probably used a more fresh oh, i don't know <laughs> but it's, group two reading was so powerful that it has two cuts in there isn't that interesting so yeah it's pretty full on all right group number three group number three welcome group number three if you chose group number three or this beautiful i'm calling it amazonite stone it could be something different you guys can let me know we're going to take a look at the topic uh what puzzle piece is yet to fall into place let's take a look see what's going on i haven't got a hot chocolate group three i've got three quarters of a cranberry juice <laughs> on the table there which I won't take a sip of because then I have to try and edit me taking a sip because I don't yeah it's like I don't want everyone listening to me having a sip <laughs> so I try to edit that bit out it's way too much ASMR <laughs> I'll have the juice after I finish I didn't have time to go out and get a hot chocolate today. Maybe next week I shall treat myself to a little hot chocolate. Also, another reason why I'm not having anything is because, yeah, I haven't been well. <sighs> I was so sick. When was I so sick? Um, oh, God, Monday and Tuesday, I was just big migraine. Big, 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 big migraine. Did I shuffle that properly? If I didn't, if we get the same card, I'll get you another one, group three. I know we have that sometimes here. Okay, let's take that one. All right, so what puzzle piece is yet to fall into place for you? Oh, wow, well, man holding a coin, fantastic. All right, let's see, let's see what, what comes next. Oh, Ace of Cups. All right. Well, gee, that's really interesting, Group 3, because if I remember you correctly last week, your life is just about work, work, work. But all right, maybe it's not just about work, work, work. Ah, oh, I had a feeling that... All right, we're shuffling again for you, Tiger. Okay, we're shuffling again for you. Because that came in the previous, but we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Ooh, the moon nice all right let's get another one of these because we just had that this is not so easy to shuffle i must say so what i'll do is i'll just do that and i'll take the bottom one okay there we go it's another white card oh oh i've screwed it up hang on there we go i think that's better is that better i think so okay what did you get oh my gosh ajna eyes closed we had that <gasps> Uh, it's more repeating <sighs> this happened to you last time group three not last time but the time before what happened it's like there's a little something repeating in your vibration <sighs> it's like the same stuff keeps coming back in but this is good I mean, this is beautiful. Everybody wants the Ace of Cups. Yeah. So we all want more love in our lives. But it's like, I'm just a little bit wary of this. So let's see. Because it's, it's something about, oh, the same thing is cycling back in. The moon. Okay, we've got the moon. What puzzle piece is yet to What puzzle piece? This is something within you. Like if you keep attracting the same thing 
keep coming around again and again. You're, I think you're being asked to introspect pretty big time. So we're going to take a look. Uh, group three. We are definitely going to take a look. It's interesting. We've got a lot of light here as well. The camera's gone all weird. I did that in group one, was it a couple of weeks ago? Strength. Yeah, you're going to need strength for sure. All right, what do you need this strength for? Nine of Pentacles, love it, yes. Build your own world, group number three. What puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? Yeah, the fives. All right, good, good, good. Now we're getting somewhere. Because this is, this, there's something not right here. Like, there's some, okay, good. Do you know what? <laughs> I'm doing it. We're getting new cards. All right, we're having one of those, and we're having this. Because strength, strength. So, I know this is radical, but it has to be done. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, this is much better. Okay, straight away. Number three, blossoming, blossoming abundance. Yes, yes, good. And what's this? Strength, superb. Yeah, look, uh, uh, we took action, didn't we? Look, look at that. Do you know what we're going to do with that? We're going to put it there. <laughs> because this is all good. <laughs> I think there's something. What puzzle piece is yet to fall into place? Um something about you picking up the like reins of your life it's like you know it's, it's like the time for introspection and all this moon stuff is over now it's like you can't keep living life at this plane you can't keep waiting for what's the guidance going to be what are the cards going to be what's this going to be no pick up what you don't like put it there you know just no and look what comes in you know I mean this is great because with this abundance you'll create a new platform in your life and you've got all this strength and you meet newer people I did a reading today for one of you uh, and I said something about when I said because she she was saying that oh she's been uh, stagnant kind of for 20 years you know and I mean look I understand I totally understand uh, I, yeah I've had long periods of time in my life too where it's just been the same and but like she's not the same person who she was 20 years ago and if I look at me I'm not the same person I was even just five years ago I'm very different and that means that who you attract in is going to be different as well so this is why I kind of I haven't thrown it away but I've put it over there I've put it out of the way because like there's something about like if you want to see things change in your life you have to do something you can't just sit there there's something like this it's like it it's it's going to take actual physical action it's going to take and that's what I'm excited to do in my life you know I'm excited to create the new things that I'm going to be creating um, let's look at this yes I'm also going to these can go there as well uh, <laughs> <laughs> what else are we doing? This is radical. Are we hanging on to that? Let's just park this. And let's get one more. We're, we're totally rearranging the furniture of the life here. We're just doing it. We're just like, that. that, that is group three this time. So what's the puzzle piece that's yet to fall into place? You picking up your creator ability. 
you know don't just l let it sit there and it's I guess it's like a little bit like group number one with the pen thing you pick up the pen and you write your story you write what you want you know and what whatever that is so let's we've rearranged the furniture you know we've done clutter clearing we've done physical actions here so you might be needing to do all of this in your life group number three you might be needing to you know maybe you need to change location for a bit maybe you need to instead of just working from your desk tomorrow maybe you need to work from a cafe or something to be inspired or just get a different vibe page of wands yeah look at i love that oh and there's another one that dropped out yes good okay good i'm so happy oh this is good group three uh, and it's deserved you know you deserve this this is good all right strength twice yes strength what do you need the strength for to make changes and to say enough is enough nine of pentacles great build your own empire do it yourself you don't need anyone else we've got here um page of wands it's a new beginning new adventures look at that you know and, and what's coming well love and love isn't just some romantic thing love is just love is your heart expanding love is you feeling good love is you feeling happy love is you you know um let's see if we can see some faces here there we go yeah i love this this is great love is abundance love is feeling good love is expansion love is you know just laughing with people and having a nice time and spreading good vibes and not worrying about anything not being limited by anything not being stuck or cramped or you know you don't want any of that good group three what puzzle piece is yet to fall into place you picking up what, what did i say the reins i keep getting stuck on this like what well, it's this thing that I've got if you ever if you've ever had a reading with me I've got this um, PDF that I give people which is about like free will destiny and all that kind of thing one of the things I say in there is something about you know you're the CEO of your life um, you're in charge you're running the show you're creating oh I like this quote that's good yeah the truth is everyone is going to hurt you you just got to find the ones worth suffering for. Absolutely. Yes. 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 Totally. Absolutely. And I know the people that I would suffer for because they have gone out of their way, these people in my life, to do great things for me and to look after me and I'd do anything for them. Yeah. And I don't have that many people like that. I don't need many either. That's the other thing. I don't want many such people. Having one or two is enough. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ah, oh, this is good too. I like it. Allow yourself to be a beginner. No one starts off being excellent. Yeah, I like that. And that's this page of wands here. I think you're going to embark on a new adventure um, you're going to embark on something new you're going to start something brand new maybe you've never done it before maybe it's a project that you've never done before but you're gonna you're gonna do it and that's exciting group number three i think you know what puzzle piece is yet to fall into place i think during this reading it has fallen into place it's like a yes yeah, a, a material manifestation of you just taking charge going right we're doing this that will go there this will go here that will go there. <laughs> let's do it you know just yeah something like it's hands-on and it's um yeah this hands-on approach to life hands-on you're making it brilliant group number three thank you for bringing your beautiful energy here and anyone else who's watched the whole video, thank you so much. And let me know how you got on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time.